Hey guys, your casual gamer here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a PC game manager called Play Night. Now, real quick, for anyone who does not know what this program is, well, if you're a PC gamer, you know that you can have your collection of games scattered between Steam, Epic, GOG, and Ubisoft Connect, just to name a few. Well, this program will allow you to bring all of your games into one launcher, that being Play Night, for easy, fast, and organized access of games. You can import your emulators into this program as well, which makes it even better. And the best thing about Play Night is that it's 100% free, no features are locked behind a paywall. Now let's get into the setup. Okay, let's head on over to playnight.link. The link to this page is in the description below. Once you are here, go ahead and click on download. That will download your Play Night installer, which I have here on my desktop. Let's go ahead and open it. If you would like to select a location on your PC to install Play Night, go ahead and select Options. And you can browse and choose wherever you want to install this program on your computer. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on my C drive and install. Click Next on the welcome screen. Library integration. So here you want to go ahead and select storefronts that you have PC games on. And it also says that if you don't see one of your storefronts here, that it can be installed later from the add on menu. So as of right now, I only have games installed on Steam and Epic Games. So those are the only two storefronts I'm going to select. Next. Now, if you are already logged into Epic Games, then you do not need the connect account. Just make sure that import install games is checked and hit next. Same thing for Steam. If you're already logged into Steam, just make sure to import install games is checked and next. Configuration finished, finish. And it's going to start scanning for your games. Okay, so all of my games are loaded in. If you look over here to the left, you'll see all of my games from Steam and Epic Games. If you click on one of these games, it tells you what storefront you are using for this game, the platform, genre, install size. Now I'm not sure why it's saying time played, not played, because I put a lot of hours into Borderlands 3, but I think once I load this game up from Play Night instead of Steam, it's going to start clocking my playtime here separate from Steam. And if I wanted to play the game, you could just click right here on play. Now the way Play Night is displaying my game collection right now is called Display View. If we want to change this entire layout, then come up here to these four squares and we could change over to Grid View. And I actually prefer this look over the others. And if you want to make the game cover art bigger, down here you have zoom and you can move this little slider up and down to make your cover art bigger or smaller. Now let's go back up to the top and you'll see these little lines. Click on this and this will change your games into list view. I do not like this, but maybe you do. This displays your release date, genre, last played and time played. And I'm guessing I was right earlier because my time played on all of my games are showing not played. Yes, I was correct. Your time playing these games in play night will be separate from your play time within the real storefront. I'm going to go ahead and change back over to grid view. Now, if you want to go full screen, all you need to do is press the F11 key. And play night will enter full screen and you can navigate easily with a controller. This is similar to Steam's big picture mode. And when you want to load up a game, all you do is select that game. We can do Devil May Cry 5 and then hit play. Now I'm going to show you how to add emulators to Play Night. Go up to the top left, click on the controller logo, go down to library and configure emulators. Now, if you don't have any emulators installed on your PC, then you can come down here to download emulators and they have a nice collection of emulators you can check out and download if you would like. But if you already have emulators set up on your PC, then you can come over to import 
and scan folder. Locate that folder that has your emulators on it. You wanna make sure that folder is highlighted and then hit select folder. And it will start scanning. And it located all three of my emulators I had in that folder, which is the Dolphin emulator, PCSX2, and RPCS3. Then come down to import. And then save. Now we're gonna add our ROMs to the emulator. So let's go back up to the controller logo, go to add game and emulated game. Now go to add scanner. At the top, you'll see scan with emulator. Select which emulator you will be uploading ROMs for. I'm gonna do PCSX2. For the override platform, you wanna find that system. So in this case, it's gonna be PlayStation 2. Next to profile, go ahead and select default QT. And now let's go ahead and scan folder. Click right here. And now I wanna go ahead and locate wherever I have my PS2 ROMs. In my case, I have them on an external hard drive. In this folder right here, PS2. Select the folder and then hit select folder. Then come down to the bottom and start scan. And it will start scanning that folder. Okay, so here are all my PS2 ROMs that were in that folder. Go ahead and import. Okay, as you see, our PlayStation 2 games have loaded into Play Night, and they also have cover art. Now, you also notice that these games are mixed in with the PC games. Now, if you wanna organize things a little better, then you wanna come up here to the top and click on this little icon right here, which is sorting settings and you can check out all of the different ways that you can sort your games. And they have multiple options you guys could try out in here that will sort your games a specific way. But we're gonna select platform. And then let's go over here to grouping settings. And we're gonna select the same one in here, platform. And by just doing those two things, we just separated our PC games from our PlayStation 2 games. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll notice that's where your PS2 games are. Now, if you wanna separate your games real quick, over here to the left, you'll see a little drop down arrow. Right now it says PC Windows, so it's displaying the PC games at the top, but if we click that arrow, it automatically brings our PlayStation 2 games to the top. Now, this is great if you have multiple emulators connected to Play Night. That way your PlayStation 2, Dreamcast, GameCube, wherever you may have connected will be organized and easy to access. And loading up a ROM is just as simple as loading up a PC game. All you wanna do is click on it. We can click on Crash Nitro Kart. And as you see, that game will just load up. And one last thing I wanna show you guys, let's say you downloaded a new game on Steam or Epic or GOG, or maybe you downloaded some new ROMs and you wanna get those new games into Play Night. What you wanna do is come up here to the controller logo and go to update game library. And you can do update all, which will update all of your game storefronts. In my case, it will be Epic Games and Steam, or you can select just one or the other. And if you have any new ROMs downloaded, just make sure that you have those new ROMs placed in the same folder with the old ROMs that are being read by Play Night. And then you can go to update emulated folders, update all, and it will automatically scan those folders and any new ROMs will be added to Play Night. Thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Peace.